Hi, this is Chong Kim and welcome to Vim Tips. Today we're going to look at TagBar. TagBar is a plugin for Vim and uh, it's very useful, so let me show you. So let's say that I edit a Ruby file and um, let me start up the TagBar. You notice that there's uh, a view on the right. So if I start writing a file class, position, and initialize, and I, then I save the file, you can see that it has an outline of what I have. And if I create a new file, I mean a, a new function, new method called foo, and I save it again, there it is, and you can see that foo is underlined, which means that that is the current one that I'm on. And so if this happened to be a very long file, I can actually go in here and choose which one, press return, and then I'm right there. This is really good for reading um, someone else's files. For example, if I uh, take a look at a jump file, let me look at a uh, specific one, and okay, so here I have a huge file that is hard to navigate because there's so much code. So instead I can go to the the tag bar and just look around here and see which one that I want to look at. So if I want to look at a specific one, let's say uh, draw, then I could press carriage return or I could press P. When I press P it brings me there but it keeps me in the window so I can uh, go back and forth between different ones and pressing P. It's a good way to navigate and uh, keep a, an overview on the whole file.